Hey everyone, here we are with our next tutorial and we're gonna continue up with our state machine tutorial series. In this one, in this couple of next videos, we're gonna be talking about how to animate a character through the state machine. But what we need to do first is we need a character and to build his animations. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder and this folder is gonna be called art. And inside that folder, I'm going to add this file called topcress.png. This is a character from Tales of Symphonia for Super Nintendo. And what we're going to do with this image is we're going to set it as multiple and point. Don't generate meat maps. That for um, textures. And we need to check what a max size is. It's 423. So we're going to set this as 512 true color and then hit apply. We're going to sprite editor and we're gonna set this slice into automatic. After we click this we're gonna have every single image separated. We're gonna hit apply and after we hit apply we can see all of them are you know nice and split in pieces. So what I'm going to do about this with this is I'm gonna create a new empty object. I'm gonna call it character now I'm gonna call it main character and in here what we need to add to our main character is a sprite render component and we're gonna set any sprite you want but I'm gonna just use top crest one as my sprite there he is and so you can animate a character you first need to open the animation window animator and animation both of them, I usually st stick them under next to the console. And whenever I'm going to make animations, I drag my project window up over here. You're going to see why in a second. So I have my character and I want to animate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit create on the animation window. And we have our assets folder and I'm going to create a new folder is going to be called animations just for organization and then in here I'm going to create a new folder called player or you know main character main character my first animation is going to be the idle animation my player my character is not doing anything so you need to choose whatever two or three I mean you can have a thousand frames if you want I'm going to ju just choose these two I'm going to click them both control click them both and then drag them and drop it under here if you hit play you're gonna see the animation play which is like extremely, extremely fast so what you do is you lower the samples this is the frames for the animation I'm gonna lower them to 6 and see what happens it's still pretty fast I want it to be 3 it looks better when he's not doing anything he's just gonna be doing that animation Okay, so we now have the idle animation. We're gonna create a new animation over here. Click here, create a new clip. I'm gonna create the walk animation. The walking animation is, you can see it over here. I think it's from here to here, these three frames. So I'm gonna drag them and drop them over here change the samples to 3 and hit play he's too slow so I'm gonna hit change it to 6 mm, looks better maybe I can do this no it doesn't look like natural you have to try a thousand times until you get what you need to, to get that's fine I think 3 is fine okay we have the walk animation now we're gonna do run run for run we also have these sprites over here it's this and until this one so three samples looks like he's running mm, I could change everything to six samples let's try that okay six samples yeah it looks much better I'm gonna change walk you can change it anytime you want change walk to six looks much better 
and idle doesn't matter because you know idle only has one frame it's fine okay now I'm gonna create the jump animation we look for the sprites that correspond to jump which are which is it's only this one so what you do is just drag that one lower this to whatever number you want and it's just gonna be that it's fine and then we create a new clip it's gonna be called fall fall it has one frame no it doesn't yeah it does there you will there you are fall and it's gonna be whatever he's falling good uh, what am I missing I think I'm missing the death animation it's just gonna be him laying down like he's dead falls gonna be death am I missing any animations walk run jump idle fall Oh yeah, I'm missing attack. Okay, death. Three samples. It's just gonna be there, laying down when he's dead. And next animation is attack. Attack. Don't mind the dogs. They're just barking all the time for no reason. Uh, okay, this is attack. It's these three frames. Six. Play. That's him attacking. Okay, that's good. We have all the animations. And now we go to the animator. Uh, to his animator. We have to click him. Animator. And now we can see what we can see here. I'm going to pop this out so you can see it. Oop. Full screen. Now we, what we have here is all the animations. And we have to set how they change from one to another. And so what I'm going to do is create a little spider web here. But I'm going to organize this walk run, jump, fall, death, and attack. So what happens here is any state can lead to death. So I'm going to make a transition from here to death. And from idle you can go to walk, you can go to run, you can jump, you can fall, and you can attack. That's my logic. So what else can happen? When I'm walking, I can also go idle. When I'm running, I can go idle. When I'm jumping, I can not go idle because I have to fall first. So this is what's gonna happen. Jump and fall. When I fall, I can go idle. When I fall, I cannot attack. When I, when I can attack, I can, go, I can go idle. What else? When I, when I attack, I can jump. When I jump, I'm gonna let him attack. When I jump, I can't run. When I walk, when I walk, I can run. When I run, I can walk. When I attack, I can run, and vice versa. Okay, so now we have this little spider web. We also have to set parameters. And uh, what's parameters? It's the way a state machine is gonna communicate with the animator and tell him, "Hey, I'm walking, I'm running, I'm jumping, falling, or attacking, or I'm just standing there." So we're gonna create a new f int. It's gonna be called state. So I'm going to make a list of my animations. So animations are walk, run, jump, fall, attack, and die. Death in this, in this uh, situation. So what you do is, I'm going to set this back down so you guys can see better uh, over here. I didn't listen to me. Uh, I like that. Just do this. And go over here. I'm gonna drag this back down because I like it better here. Okay, now that I have my animator, I have to set conditions for this uh, for the transitions to happen. So, <clears throat> one thing you don't want in these kind of transitions usually is the exit time. But Unity needs a condition for the exit time to be uh, not on, unless if it's on, I mean if it's, if it's off, it ignores. It will be ignored. You will, it will not happen. So, from idle to jump, uh, I'm gonna uh, yeah. So walk is my number one, and idle is my number zero. So from walk to idle, I have to do state equals zero, no exit time. And from idle to walk, my state has to equal one. 
has no exit time. And then we do the same for every other. Um, ROM is going to be my state 2. So it has to equal to, we set that in code, and vice versa has to equals 1. No exit time, don't forget that. So from this, it's going to be 0 if it's coming from run to idle, no exit time. And then from idle to run, it's 2, no exit time. I should stop talking and just do it. So I'm going to do it here with jump, which is number 3. No exit time. Oh, when I run, I can jump, and vice versa. Uh, mm, can I run while I'm jumping? Mm, yeah, yeah, maybe. No, I can't. Okay. Equals 3. Okay, is this done? Is this one done? Okay. Jump equals 3. Fall equals 4. Equals 4. Okay, attack to jump equals 3. No exit time. Okay. This equals. Um, this is if this is four, then attack is five. Zero, one, two, th two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Five, and then jump is three. Okay. This is equals to zero. No exit time. This is equals to five. No exit time. And then from any state to death, it's uh, equals to six. No exit time, of course. And now we're going to check everything is fine, which is it isn't, because I'm lacking this one. Equals zero. And if I'm falling without jumping, which can happen, it equals four. Yes. OK, good. We are good here. Oh, this one has exit time. Wait, uh, attack to run has not been done. Been done. So run is number two, and um, equals five. Okay. Okay. Now we save our scene. It's important that you do that because if you don't, you sometimes Unity freaks out and you lose everything. Like when you're doing animations, you have to hit save very often. Because sometimes when you hit play, you need just forgets what life means and freaks out. So yeah, that's it for this episode of our tutorials. We have our character, we have the animation, we have the state, um, the tree done, we have the parameter. And in next tutorial, we're actually going to code all of this. I'm going to push this into our Git. I'm going to link you to the Git in case you don't have it. Um, and so yeah, I'll meet you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.